speaking for de- defending your friends, staying with your friends, and uh, bringing the old band uh, together again, you uh, coined the term IDW, Intellectual Dark Web. Uh, I like it. It's It represents a certain group of people that are struggling with, uh, that are almost like a challenge the norms of social and political discourse from all different angles. Right. What do you think is the state of the IDW? What do you think is its future? Is it still a useful? Well, it never exists. Is it a protocol? Is it a collection of people featured in an article? What I learned very clearly is, is that there's a tremendous desire in the internet age to pin people down. Well, what do you say? Who's in it? Yeah. What are the criteria? It's like, I understand. You want to play the demarcation game and you want to make everything that is demarcated instantly null and void. No, thank you. So I resisted saying who was in it. I resisted saying what it was. I resisted saying that Barry Weiss's article was the definitive thing. You know, they chose a ridiculous concept for the photographs that we couldn't get out of. I did not want those photographs taken. They decided that the Pulitzer Prize winning photographer needed to take them all at twilight or, you know, I don't know, some such thing. I didn't even necessarily want to do the article. Um, Barry convinced me that it was the right thing to do. Undoubtedly, Barry was right. I was wrong. But the key point is nothing can grow in this environment. There's a reason we're not building. It does not appear that we found a way to grow anything organic and good and decent that we need right now. And that's kind of the key issue. Who's the we? Do you mean us as a society? Those of us who wish to have a future for our great grandchildren. Let's 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 take the subset of people who are worried about things long after their demise. But do you think it's useful to have a term like the IDW to capture some set of people, some set of uh, ideas, or maybe principles that capture what I think the IDW? Okay, you can say it's not supposed to mean it doesn't exist. It doesn't mean anything. But to the public, to me, okay, I'll just speak to me. It represented something. Yeah, I, I it uh, represented. I think I said this to you. It's my in my first <clears throat> attempt to interview the great Eric Weinstein. Uh, I said that uh, I spoke this about you, but IDW in general is trying to point out the elephant in the room, or that the emperor has no clothes. The set of people that do that in their own way. If there are multiple elephants in the room. <laughs> Yes. The point is, is that the IDW was more interested in seeing the totality of ele- elephants and trying to figure out how do we move forward as opposed to saying, I can spot the other guy's elephant in the room, but I can't see my own. Right. And, you know, in large measure, we didn't represent an institutional base. And therefore, it wasn't maximally important that we look at our own hypocrisy because we weren't on the institutional spectrum. This is where friendship comes into play with the different figures that are loosely associated with the IDW is you are somehow uh, responsible for, you know, the, the the exactly thing that you said. Did you hear what, I don't know, I forget the name, oh, who, what Sam Harris said about the IDW? Yeah. Uh, that, that kind of thing is- Well, I chuckled. <laughs> lovingly or chuckle like uh, or the, I was what, angry at some people who had said things that caused Sam to say what Sam said about turning his imaginary club membership into the IDW people said very silly things and you know I think that there is just this confusion that um integrity means calling out your friends in in, in, right. in front of the world right and you know I've been pretty clear about this uh I try to choose my friends carefully. And if you would like to recuse me, because I'm not a source of reliable information, people that I know and love the most, um, maybe that's reasonable for you. Maybe you, you prefer somebody who was willing to throw a friend uh, under the bus at the first sign of trouble. By all means, uh, exit my feed. You don't have to subscribe to me. If that's if that's your concept of integrity, uh, you're, you're barking up the wrong tree. What I will say is, is that I knew these people well enough to know that they're all flawed. Thank you for the callback. And, uh, but the issue is that um, I love people who are flawed and I love people who have to earn a living, even if you call them a grifter. And I love people who, uh, you know, 
like the fact that Donald Trump didn't get us into new wars, even if you call them alt-right. I love the fact that um, some people believe in structural oppression and want to fight it, even if they're not woke, because they don't believe that structural oppression is hiding everywhere. Um, I care and love different people in different ways. And I just, I think that, you know, the overarching thing, Lex, that we're not getting at is that we were sold a bill of goods that you can go through life like an ELISA program with pre-programmed responses. Well, it's what aboutism. It's both sidesism. It's alt-right. It's the loony left. It's campus madness. You know, it's like, okay, why don't you just empty the entire goddamn magazine? All of those pre-recorded snips. Yeah. Now that you've done all of that, now we can have a conversation. Your son put it really well, which is we should, in all things, resist labels. But we can't deal without labels. We have yeah. to generalize. But we also have to keep in mind that just in the way in science, you deal with an effective theory that isn't a fundamental one. In science, most of our theories we consider to be effective theories. If I generalize about about Europe, about women, about uh, you know Christians, those things have to be understood to mean something and not to have their definitions extend so broadly that they mean nothing at all, nor um, that they're so rigid that they're claims that clearly won't bear scrutiny.